cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey everyone, today I want to talk about a production leak reported by Watchers on the Wall regarding Season 7. Huge spoilers will follow, so if you do not want to learn about a potential major event, feel free to check out my Game of Thrones playlist. Okay, so apparently in the past week, filming in Belfast has been focusing on a battle, more specifically a sea battle between the Greyjoys. Euron Greyjoy has reportedly caught up to his niece and nephew, where they engage in a battle in sea which leads to the capture of either Theon or Yara. Now here's a few things that come to mind when hearing about this leak. Which Greyjoy gets captured? If you think about it, Theon has a knack for pulling the short end of the stick, or in other words having bad luck, so he could reasonably be taken captive by his deranged uncle. Yara is much more experienced on a ship, and her chances of outsmarting Euron are probably higher than her brothers. On the other hand, there is no better time for Theon to rise to the occasion and be his own man again. I mean, for such a long time, his character was diminished to a helpless shadow of a human when he was captive by Ramsay. If Yara was to be captured, Theon would have to fill the shoes of his sister's command of the Ironborn fleet. Now while thinking about this, there is a good chance that this battle doesn't involve Daenerys, only because depending on where she plans to make landfall and who she expects to engage with, Danny might have coordinated her massive fleet to have different entry points, so that in an event like a sea battle, her whole fleet doesn't get flanked. Also, the leak from Watchers on the Wall mentioned that Euron kills at least one Sand Snake. So if the report is true, then the Ironborn aren't sailing alone, they at least have some Dorn ships with them. It will be interesting if this reported sea battle actually does take place, and isn't just a fake leak that is aimed to confuse fans. We have all pretty much expected to see a battle at sea in Season 7, especially since from the books we know that Euron is not the kind of person you want to mess with. Fun fact about the book version of Euron. He cut out the tongues of all the men on his ship, and because of this, his ship is called Silence. Yeah, Euron is a pretty savage individual, and honestly with his track record, with how he treats people, whoever he captures will most likely be severely tortured or even killed. I'm not sure Theon could handle much more torturing, but who knows, maybe if he gets taken captive, he will be able to easily overcome Euron's hospitality, since Ramsay left him pretty messed up as is. You never know, Theon might actually be able to handle anything now. As for the Sand Snakes, I'm not sure where their storyline will go. I know that Alaria Sand would be more than happy with murdering Cersei all by herself after what the Mad Queen's actions led to. By that I mean of course Oberyn Martell's death. Since she is the main character leading the Sand Snakes and pretty much represents all of Dorne at this point, I doubt she would die by Euron. Well, I actually take that back. Her character doesn't have a major plotline currently in the story, and even if she did, we are all too aware that the showrunners can kill off anyone they see fit. It could easily just be one of Oberyn's daughters, but either way, I'm sure we will see a good bit of skilled fighting coming from the female characters of Dorne next season. That's going to wrap up the news for today, but before we say goodbye, I've been getting a lot of requests about making harpy themed fan art. If anyone wants to make some artwork to be featured in my videos, you are more than welcome to. One thing I would ask though is be sure to put some type of signature or watermark on the art so that viewers have a better shot at seeing who the artist is rather than having to scroll through the description and all that. Also, I decided to spend a bit of money on a new editing software called Sony Vegas Pro so that I can step up the quality of my videos. So far with messing around with it, I've realized that I have a lot to learn, so whenever I feel capable enough to turn out daily videos with it, you should see a positive change in the uploads. Just so you guys know, I'm working to upload better content. Alright everyone, thanks for watching this short update, let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.